home because he's here already for one year. <laughs> so he have to go to go home now. So we'll see you later in immigration. yesterday sorry but we didn't had a video inside immigration because uh, they didn't allow me to come inside because I was wearing a short short jumper so they didn't allow me because in in immigration department tip number one you shouldn't wear short or sleeveless because they are very strict so I was I just wait for Adi to come outside so for 30 minutes I guess Yo, I wait I waited for him outside and I didn't get a chance to make videos so I'm so sorry but this is the reason why we went to immigration department so we went there to take his pass passport because he extended last January 16 I guess or December 16 and then from that time we haven't take his passport because when you are take, uh, extending your passport it's either you will get it after three hours by express lane or you will get it uh, by regular lane after three days so what's the difference the difference is the time and also the money for express lane you have to pay extra 1000 1000 plus something 1000 pesos or around I don't know how much in dollar uh, how much in dollar but, uh, around $20 extra so if you will take regular lane it's you don't have to pay any charges but you have you can take your passport after three days so tip number one if you are not rushing or you don't have anything to do naman just take your, your passport on that time you have to extend it me and adi will always take his passport like for example we extend january 16th we, instead of coming back after three days we will take his passport on March 16 the day we will extend his passport why save transportation and save time and effort and it's okay no because they are immigration officers they are keeping the passport there so it's easy just 
leave it there and then just come back we don't know if it's allowed but allowed or not but every time we do that there's no question naman. there's no problem with the immigration officer so that's the reason he didn't get deported actually we are just kidding because uh, but it's true that's that he's staying here for already one year on March under Philippines tourist visa just like we always say he's holding Philippines tourist visa which is extendable up to two years continuous two years at uh, this alarm is sorry yon after two after up to two years extendable so it's good right but if you will take Singapore visa to come to Philippines it's not extendable so your tip number two take if you want to stay more in the Philippines take Philippines tourist visa so tip number three when you will extend your visa it will just you can extend every two months every two months or every one month but in our case we always extend every two months so at first when he arrived here in philippines last uh april or march uh april may i guess may may 16 because i was in india last april eh. so may or april i don't know there after one month because his philippines tourist visa is just one month we extend it in Philippines Immigration Department in Intramuros, Manila. So the first time you will uh, extend your visa, it will cost around, don't be shocked, it will cost 8,000 to 9,000 pesos for your first time extend. Why? Because there's application fee something and at that time kasi, we don't know that express lane will cost us 1,000 pesos. So it's another expense. And also, number two, in the first time you will extend your visa for two months they will give you a alien certificate card it's like an alien card here in the Philippines so it also charge money that's that's why it costs around 8,000 to 9,000 but after you extend for the first time right every two months you will just have to pay 2000 to 3000 to 4 3 2 to 3500 around this much every two months but if you will extend december december or january there are they call they are they have something like annual report something that you have to pay you have to pay extra money for that day so last december or january 16 we pay extra so it costs around 4,000 to 5,000 pesos but usually when normal like normal every two months extend it just cost us 2,000 3,000 but last December and on the first time on the first time extend 8,000 to 9,000 on December or January because of annual report something uh, we pay around 5,000 pesos yeah so that's the you know normal thing you have to know because just don't be shocked on the first time you will extend it will cost much talaga so tip number three or tip number four <laughs> tip number four i guess so we are uh this is ba basic but i just want to share so we are from bulacan and from bulacan it will take us one hour or 30 min uh, 45 minutes up to one and a half hours to travel to philippines immigration department it is in uh it is in imig uh intramuros intramuros so how to get there so we will come from the north side of the philippines just see monumento station from monumento station drop up to central station central station and from central station be uh be wise because uh there will be so many tricycle or sidecar track but I don't know what you call that but there will be tricycles who will ask you to uh, ride to them and then they will bring you to immigration department and they will charge you around 100 pesos to 200 pesos for two of you especially if you are foreigner they will charge you more but if you will search kasi in Google map from Central Station up to Immigration Department, it's around 1 kilometer to 2 kilometer. So you will feel like it's so far. But 
you don't have to ride tricycle because you can walk actually you can walk and it's very near to the station immigration department is just around five minutes walk from the central station if you will walk because when you search in google map google map is following the highway highway route but it's in intramuros kasi it's a park where you can just walk walk in the park just you know you don't have to follow the uh, highway side just cross 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 and it will just take five minutes to walk so instead of paying uh, 200 pesos and it will cost time also because they are following the no sometimes traffic but but if you will walk just five minutes just just that's my that's my last that's my tip so I'm sorry we didn't had an opportunity to make video there and we didn't take uh, video yesterday night because it's so busy we are so busy and people are asking us to upload more video but I'm so sorry to inform you guys but these days we didn't get time to make video or to make content because uh, Adi is just having less than one week here in the Philippines and we are trying to you know banding banding boyfriend girlfriend so and also Adi is working and he's so busy so I didn't really get a time to make content or to upload video but we will uh, we will just keep you posted on what's happening in our lives so yun, after on Monday today is Thursday on Monday Adi will come back to India so ayun, I will just keep you updated and also on saturday saturday 9 p.m we will make a live stream so to those who want to talk with us live on live so we will be live on saturday we promise that so thank you for supporting me and thank you so much to my new subscribers uh i feel like my channel is growing so Firstly, even though I have 526 subscribers because I started from zero and now I have 526. Thank you so much for and just keep posted and everything will happen to us. We'll just like for example in visa or if I will go to India, I will inform you the process and if, if I will come back to the Philippines, we will just keep keep you updated on the, you know, legal stuff. So thank you for watching and i hope you like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and i will really appreciate it thank you so much for bye bye po